Hi, this is Nandi from MotorWork.com, and today I'll be taking a look at the new Xbox 360 Slim, the 4GB version, uh, as you can see there. I'm just going to do uh, a hardware look and do some comparisons with the original Xbox. So let's quickly unbox this and check it out. Okay. Uh, um, <clears throat> you have your instruction guide, startup manual. Also states that, of course, the unit is wireless built in, so which is also a big difference from the original Xbox. I'm going to take the unit out itself. This is the unit. Put that aside. We're going to take a look at that a little later. Um, opening up, you do have your controller, which is at the bottom of the box. Standard Xbox 360 controller. This is not the new one yet. Comes with uh, two AA batteries, so no rechargeable batteries in this unit. Um, the side here, you have your cables, you have your regular VGA cables with the Xbox plug. On the other side, you do have your power strip, I mean, sorry, uh, power plug, and your power brick adapter. Um, this is slightly smaller than the regular brick, but still a brick, all the same. And that's it for contents within the package. And of course, there's the, you know, instruction guide, like for Xbox 360 manual. So, put that aside, this unit doesn't come with HDMI cables uh, included. I guess that is only with the 250 gigabyte version. So. Let us take a look at the Xbox itself. So, we're going to take off all the trimmings here. And this is the 360 Slim. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm just going to bring this down a little bit so you guys can have a better look at this. Now, the Slim is... Well, it's a small unit. You can see the design is slightly different. The uh, disc tray is now actually close to, to the bottom right hand side. You still do have your power button. And then of course, this is your bay for your two uh, USB slots here. And of course the sync button for that, for the controllers. At the back of the unit, you do have um, three USB ports at the back. You have one auxiliary, one ethernet, HDMI, AV, and of course your optical uh, audio port. And this is the plug-in for the uh, uh, <clears throat> the power strip for the power brick. Now, uh, this is the unit here, clearly. Um, there's no indication of a way to add an additional hard drive, say a 250 hard drive if you feel like it. I can't see anything of a sort. But we can do a quick comparison with the regular Xbox or the old Xbox, side to side. Um, now you can see it's definitely smaller. Hold on a second. So I said the comparison, this is your regular Xbox on the left and of course your new Slim 360, definitely smaller. You can see the differences, there are no more memory card uh, slots anymore. You do have your two USB ports in the front, your power switch. And of course your drive bay here on the right hand side. Um, this has the 120 gigabyte hard drive, which as you can see from the top here, you can easily detach and you know replace and get a bigger one. This is the four gigabyte version. Um, there is, like I said, there is no indication of where you can do that, but it does have clearly well vented system, vents at the bottom here, and vents also on the top compared to the original, which had a small vent here at the top, some vents at the bottom, but it seems like cooling is, of course, a bigger part and better. Um, that's pretty much it the, with the new Xbox 360. Um, it's, again, it's also the system feels lighter in hand, so it actually is uh, uh, pretty nice. You know, overall, it's not too heavy. Um, and uh, we've heard some good things about it, no crashing so far, so, uh, that's just a quick look at the Xbox 360 Slim. If you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. Um, 
and also don't forget to subscribe to all our pages facebook twitter youtube the whole the whole bunch so again this is thundee from motorworks saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment